good intense practice. Again, like the intensity, like the attitude, guys working, guys coaching, leading each other. See a lot of that, a lot of encouragement, and not just on defense to defense, defense to offense, offense to defense. I love to come right, but come competition I, I really am happy with. Guys getting out. Now, we're far from perfect. We're a long way from off. We've got a lot of things to work on, but uh, attitude stays that way. I like the direction we're going. I mean, very intense and guys being very, trying to be very detailed and still mistakes, but their attitude and their mindset's in a really good place. So from that standpoint, um, we're good. So got to keep maintaining. Again, that's day three, got 26 more. So we got to be ready to go. Questions? Oh, we we bang, we play. You know, do your drills. You can hit. You can form tackle. Just don't go to the ground. You know what I'm saying? And we get we get some upper body contact, just like we always do. And I mean, not too much of it, but a lot of it. I mean, it's a very physical, tough practice. You just ain't cutting each other and tackling each other. But other than that, you practice like you would normally do. Phew, there's a lot of them, guys. I'm telling you now. You go across the board. I mean, from Derek Nodding, Christmas up top, Brian Burns, here's Sweat. He, of course, three. I mean, there one's everywhere. Trey, here McFadden. McFadden jumping out there doing things. I mean, I'm, I hope I'm not missing anybody. Offense, 12 does a good job. You hear Eberle in there doing it. Uh, the receiver, Tate, and uh, even Nooney, you hear him in there. I hear Jacquez Patrick. I mean, there's, I mean, it is. There's a lot of guys that are energetic and encouraging guys and coaching guys and doing good things. I mean, a lot of them really are. Well, I hope so. Uh, they, 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 they can see things faster, process faster, play faster, and play with more of their ability. I think you saw that in the second half with Matthew as he started getting quite He made a couple of flash plays out there today, boy, it just jumped out at me. And some real tough screen plays and different things, you know, just triggering. And, and what it allows you to do when you know, it allows you to have eye discipline. And then if you see, you know what you're looking at, the right things, then you, you react and you see that athleticism really take off. And they, they, I mean, that's what that you're seeing. It's what you dream of. It's what you dream of. You want to be in charge. You want to be the guy making the call. That's what you did when you was a little kid playing in the yard. I mean, that means you have a lot of trust in you. You've got a lot of faith in you. And you're, you're, you're an intelligent guy. I mean, that's, that's what you dream of doing. Well, it makes you be, realize how disciplined you have to be, how intense, how every assignment, alignment, I mean, every little thing can get, you, they can take advantage of it. You know what I'm saying? It makes you a better player because you can play against better people. You know when, you, when you're not doing it just perfect, you know, sometimes you've been 95% and your athleticism makes up for the other 5%. You can't do that. And it makes you train your mind to have to be in that mindset, which is really good. Oh, I think this team, that team's over with. That team's gone. This is a new team. That, that team ain't the same team. Ain't the same guys. I mean, you learn from your lessons. Every, every, whether you win or lose, every opportunity is a learning experience. And you take from those and hopefully grow and don't make the same mistakes. All, all these guys have played football probably their whole lives, but do you watch the pressure on the first day of shells to see how they – Oh, yeah. And they get big-eyed, starry-eyed, or, or, or some of them jump right in the middle of it now. And they, some of them guys did now. It was interesting. They, hey, they, they ain't – they ain't backing up, which is what you want. And, but I think there's two reasons for that. I think the way our upperclassmen have taken them under their wing in the summer, too. I mean, and making those guys feel comfortable and teaching them what to do. Because usually it's hard for those guys to do it because they have no clue what to do. Our upperclassmen have done a really good job with our young guys of, you know, acclimating them and how we practice, the tempo we practice, what the mindset is, how to do things, and assignments and alignments to at least allow their, you know, start to see their athleticism. And they make mistakes, but I mean, you know, pretty good for the first day for those guys. Uh, we'll find out in time. I haven't been in three days. <laughs> but, I mean, I've liked what I've seen so far. I mean, I really have. I mean, I think a lot of encouragement. I see a great attitude. I really do. I see a great attitude. Well, Jacob Pugh's a senior starting. <laughs> yeah, so in that regard, yeah. I mean, but, you know, we had Telvin. You had Christian Jones, you know, in that group. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, this is the experience as any we've had. I mean, played a lot of ball and been in a lot of big-time situations. What is, what is um, having that third line back on the field instead of that extra DB? What does that do for you? Well, it depends on who he is. 
I mean, whether it's a linebacker, it depends on his abilities. You know what I'm saying? Can he play in space? Can he reroute? Can he cover if he has to? Can he tackle in space? And that guy right there definitely can. I mean, I've been extremely happy with, with Jacob and, and his whole demeanor. You see him just doing a, being a complete player, really do. Saw flashes, and I saw some great things running down the court field in special teams, uh, triggering in, when they were in there on the run. I saw uh, five trigger in there a couple times and make a couple nice plays. Saw Emmett, Emmett flashes, man. Emmett will hit you and run around. And, and Leonard Warner, see him jumping out in there. Uh, Adonis Thomas had some really nice plays. He flashed. I mean, just caught glimpses of good plays. And, you know, you notice, you respect. I mean, I loved it. It was, it was good. You're seeing those guys. I like that group is, is doing a pretty good job right now. Seems to be. And, again, I'll watch the film and evaluate. But just, you know, from practice, and you start watching those guys on the other side, why is that not being made? Well, that guy made that play. And how he, it's not just he makes the play. It's how he makes it within the scheme of doing the right things. Anytime you get on that field, it just it, – like I say, it just grows. And no matter how much it is, whether it's special teams, backup roles, at least you know you've walked out there. Now, there's more responsibility and more, more expectations of them. But at the same time, I think it's a good confidence builder. What does it do to have that depth in that position? Do you think it's Well, again, it allows you special teams guys. And when they're on special teams, you can, put, you can rotate series if you have to or put guys in. You feel very comfortable they can do their job. And, you know, you're not going to drop off. Hmm? Well, I don't know if it's sense of urgency. Sometimes it's the other guys. I don't know if it's definitely sense of urgency. Guys make plays. We'll see. We'll find out. I don't know. Hey, we ain't played yet. Oh no, we're we're miles from that. We we we'll see. By the end of the year, when the season's over, <laughs> you'll start. And I joke about that, but you do. Good teams, the ones that were real good teams I've been on. Just keep growing as, as it goes. You just see more and more and more. But the key ingredient to that is one thing. It's your one word, attitude. If that's good, you usually can find those things. Because when you have your attitude, you're allowed to be coached and pushed and challenged and all those good things. It did. We did, you know, but early we had to learn from it. Hopefully we don't have to go through those learning pains to get there. And I think, you know, our practices seem that way that we've learned. Very critical because guys that can, you know, sometimes they say, we forget those other teams are on scholarship too. They got good players. They do things. And then it takes sometimes in big games, guys that are, have that game changing ability. When you got it on three levels, you don't know which guy can make it. You get the more multiples of guys out there that do the right things and have those kind of abilities. You know, when there is mistakes or is a breakdown, the other team just does it right and makes a blocker. You know what I mean? That some of those guys can get off and save you from a big play or make a big play. Well, it does, and, and, and how people double-team guys, how they have to play, have to have to respect, you know, different people on the field and, and the other team and the opponent when they're game playing. You guys experimented with those helmets in the spring. Well, we felt very good about We think it helps the linemen because the constant up there is so close. I don't think the skill guys, it, it's as big a deal because most of those collisions, they do happen are from distances. I don't think that they help the skill guys as much, but I do think the constant when you're up there tight on the offensive line and doing things, we, we felt like in, in our studies it helped. So we live in the line, leave them on the linemen and, and the up front guys. No, but I, I mean, no, I mean, all of them. I mean, I have been. All those guys have really have done a good job. Too early to tell. That's what I've been very impressed with, and still playing fast. You know what I'm saying? And not, like I say, driving through the neighborhood where you don't know where to go. But I think they've done a good job of studying on their own film. The upperclassmen have worked with them and, you know, played fast. For the most part, all the freshmen are pl have played pretty quickly, which, you know, you don't see the guy. I mean, don't make mistakes. But I tell you what, even when they do them, they're going full speed, which is a great characteristic. Everything. Uh, and then now, the offseason, when they're here, and understand that guy's on your team, and he's your brother. You got to help him. He's your he's family. You got to help him. You're and you're going to need him. Even if he's your backup or a guy you think you're helping get better. Listen, that's reps, that's quality time and practice. I mean, you got to have it. And that's, that's the attitude you got to have. I mean, just getting better, blocking and catching and all the things, getting open and understanding, and just understanding the little. That's what you get happen when you get old. You start to understand nuances. You start to see things happen before they happen and see triggers that allow, okay, this is probably going to happen. And what it allows you to do is 
And you still, you know, you have no play. Sometimes there's three, four, five things you worry about. But all of a sudden you get up there and recognize, okay, only one of two things can happen or one thing can happen or whatever. And that allows you to process that situation better and play faster. Competitor every day. Competitor every day. I mean, and that's what great players do. They never arrive. I mean, the, the, the stories here, they always said Dion's was as good a hardest practice player as there ever was. First one on, last one off. Stories about Michael Jordan. You hear, hear me all talk about. There was nobody that practiced harder in every game. I, I always tell the story. Jordan always said, you know, people ask him, how do you change in the last five minutes of the game to play like you do? He said, I don't change. Everybody else does. I just play like I do every day. Like every time he was in practice, you know, it was the NBA championship. Everything mattered to him, whether he's doing a shooting drill, whether he's in a dribbling drill, whether he's in a defensive drill, whether he's in a scrimmage. You know, they, they had that same intensity. You don't, those guys like that are special, you know what I mean? And, and you got to understand that mentality. Who's that? That's what I talk about all the time. You listened to me, you listened to me at ACC Media Day, didn't you? <laughs> He must have read it. That's what I said. The most impressive thing of him is his intelligence. Not just his instincts, his intelligence to comprehend everything that's going on and, 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 and to play those positions and make very few mistakes. You know what I'm saying? That's what's hard. Not just to play a position and make a play or do something fabulous, but understand everything you have to do at that position. That, that takes a special cat now. I mean, it takes a real special guy. And his, his ability to learn, he wants to learn, but his ability to learn and process information is the most phenomenal thing about him. Oh my lord! I mean, and, and and he's looking for you. He's looking for you to coach him. Those guys look for you to coach him. What what else can you help me with? What other little detail can I get better at? Man, it, may, it makes makes your job fun. I mean, really fun. No, sorry. Seems like it put this year through a lot of like I know what you guys have tried to improve. I mean, what do you think those guys can do when when they're in these kind of two tight end sets and and they're out there? Hopefully block, catch, and run. And, I, and I'm not trying to be smart. I mean, you got, you know, a tight end, you have to be a, one of the most complete players on the field. You're asked to block big guys, block little guys, block in space, run routes like a wide out, catch balls like a big guy, get hit, you know what I'm saying? And then have the ability to run with the ball after you get it. I mean, they have to be some of the best athletes and, again, multi-dimensional in, in the things you ask them to do. Because, you, all right, I want to be light and athletic, I want to run routes. Well, now I've got to block a 280-pound end. I mean, you know, that, and you're usually, they're always undersized. I don't care what you're doing. A tight end who play them down guys, they're 272, they're undersized. You gotta have great athleticism, toughness, and understand technique, but at the same time, you know, like Ryan and them do, when you get a chance to run a route, now, you gotta, now I gotta go beat a 200 pound DB. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of things that are required from those tight ends. Oh, I don't, oh, ideal setting. They, they do everything we ask them to do. <laughs> they block, catch, and run. And, and they can do it whether they're flexed out, whether they're on the ball, whether they're in the backfield, you know, in processing that game. And, you know, they've, they've done a, I mean, seem to have a good group. And they're, and they're teaching those young guys. Those young guys are coming on. Coach's poll came out today. You guys are number three just under your head. No, we quit. We can't. We didn't win the next championship. I guess we're out. We should quit. I, I mean, it's great. I mean, we have a chance to have a good team. And that's, that's very nice to be up there. But again, you got to go win. You know what I'm saying? And it's, but hey, I'd rather start high than low. Huh? Oh, that's my business. Who is that? He's a, he's a thrower. He's a quarterback who can run. He's not a runner who plays quarterback. That's the way I always describe guys like that. I mean, certain guys are better runners and athletes, and then they learn the passing game. He's a thrower and a quarterback who can run, not an athlete who plays quarterback. And that's the way I look at him. Shoot, no. React and play. I don't, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if a hole's going to be there, a situation's going to be there. That's what makes those real good guys. I mean, the ability to extend plays, to scramble and pick up a first down. Just, you know, try to be in smart and then be smart and try not to take them when you can. Get it out of your hand. Let your mind work, then react.